Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. Looking at the MACD's the moving averages, the day's support resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Tuesday the 23rd of March. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar. It's a bullish start to the day here. We need to see Bitcoin move through the pivot at 55.432 to take a run at the first major resistance level setting at 57.163. We'll need to see support from the broader market for Bitcoin to break back through to 57,000 levels. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 58,525 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Bitcoin test resistance at last week's swing high 61,699 before any pullback. The second major resistance level. So it's at 62.57. Better to move through the pivot, we bring the first major support level of 52.338 into play. Barring an extended sell off on the day, Bitcoin should stay clear of sub 50s. Second major support level at 56.07 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACD, we have a slight narrowing of the bearish histogram, but nothing conclusive or suggestive of a bearish day ahead, so keep an eye on that. On the EMAs, it's a bearish indicator. The 50 has pulled further back from the 100 and the 200, with the 100 closing in on the 200, suggesting further downside ahead. So it failed to move through the pivot at 55.432 would leave support levels in play. Moving across to Ethereum against US dollar, relatively positive start to the day. We need to see Ethereum move through the pivot at 17.15 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 17.73. We'll need support from the broader market to break out from 17.50s. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 1806.39 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Ethereum test resistance at 1900 before any pullback. Second major resistance level since 1864. Better to move through the pivot would bring the first major support level 1622 into play. Barring an extended sell off on the day, Ethereum should stay clear of the 23.6% FIB at 1579. And the second major support level at 1566. Looking at the MACD, slight narrowing of the bearish histogram, but nothing suggestive of a bullish morning ahead, so keep an eye on that. On the EMA, also bearish indicator, 50s pulled further back from the 100 and the 200, with the 100 also pulling back from the 200. So failure to move through the pivot at 1715 would leave support levels in play. Moving across the Litecoin against US dollar, positive start to the morning. We need to see Litecoin move through the pivot at 190 to take a run at the first major resistance level and 23.6% FIB at 195. We'll need to see support from the broader market for Litecoin to break back through to 190 levels, however. So, barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and 23.6% FIB to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, we could see Litecoin test resistance at 205 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 204. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 181 into play. Buying an extended sell off on the day, Litecoin should stay clear of second major support level at 176. Looking at the MACD, similar trend, slight narrowing of the bearish histogram, but nothing suggestive of a bullish morning ahead, so keep an eye on that. On the EMA, also a bearish indicator. The 50 has pulled back from the 100 and the 200 with the 100 also pulling back from the 200, suggesting downside ahead. So failure to move through the pivot at 190 would leave support levels in play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against the US dollar, particularly bullish start to the day after yesterday's breakout, we'll need to see Ripple's XRP avoid a fall back through the pivot at 0.5452 to take a continued run at the first major resistance level at 0.5880. We'll need to see support from the broader market for Ripple's XRP to break back through to 0.58. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 0.6 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Ripple's XRP test resistance at 0.65 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 0.6315. A fall back through the pivot would bring the 23.6% FIB at 0.5320 and the first major support level at 0.5017 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, 
Ripple's XRP should stay clear of sub 0.5. Second major support level sits at 0.4589, and there's also the 38.2% FIB at 0.4632. Looking at the MACD, slight narrowing of the bearish histograms, but nothing suggestive of a bullish day ahead. On the EMAs, however, the 50 has pulled further ahead of the 100 and the 200, delivering a bullish signal. So keep through the early part of the day, avoid a fallback through the pivot at 0.5452 and break back through to 0.58 levels to give Ripple's XRP a run through to 0.6 and then target 0.65 levels.